Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing a Halloween night stone. I'm using Happy Dotting Company's uh, stone molds, art stone molds, and I've made some stones with Ultra Cal 30. That's what I use, and I follow the directions on Happy Dotting Company's tutorial uh, here on YouTube. So um, she, Angela from Happy Dotting Company, teaches us how to do it all. And if you visit Happy Dot Dotting Company on Etsy, um, you can purchase your own molds to make your own stones, and you can use my discount, Rachel's Rocks Canada, to get yourself 10% off if you spend $10 or more. So I'm starting off with one of the larger uh, round mandala style stones, um, and I have painted it white to start it off, just to make sure we have a nice bright surface. Um, you may not find Ultra Cal 30 where you are, um, but definitely take a look online for uh, on Happy Dotting Company's YouTube tutorials, and all of the information is there. Um, they they have everything you need to know. So I am using Martha Stewart sponges, uh, paint pouncers, sponge daubers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, any sponge will work. I'm just sponging on a colorful background using um, some purple, some yellow, orange, and red. Um, now that it's October, we're going to use some fall colors. So um, nice nice deep purple. Um, all of these are Deco Art brand uh, crafters acrylic paint and um, I will leave the colors listed in the description of this video along with the everything you need to know uh, how to find the Happy Dotting Company on Etsy um, as well as her YouTube tutorials on how to make these stones. Um, her directions are very very simple and she's very knowledgeable so if you have any questions i'm sure she'd be happy to answer them as well as soon as she gets the chance because she's one busy lady i tell you so i am just randomly putting on um different colors um i'm gonna let certain colors dry and add a little bit more like a second layer just so that there's nothing showing through um these stones are amazing to paint on they're so smooth and uh, it doesn't take long to make them either. I let them dry overnight um, and the next day and then I take them out of the molds and then I let them sit for a couple of days and, and let them dry a little bit more before I paint on them but uh, once you get to paint on them it's like you stare at them while you're waiting for them to dry and you're just imagining what you're going to put on the next one. They're so much fun and they're so great for people if you cannot find um, regular stones to paint on anywhere where you're from you can make your own and she's just a lifesaver for so many of us uh rock painters out there so make sure you visit happy Dot dotting company on etsy say hi to angela and thank her for all she does because she is amazing and don't forget to check the description for all the stuff i'm using um as well as the links to uh, happy dotting company and everything so I have let it dry and I'm adding nail glitter. I will leave the link for my nail glitter as well. Um, I buy it on Amazon. It's just a very, 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 very fine glitter. And um, I'm putting like a gold on the yellow and orange. I'm putting a red glitter on the red and purple on the purple. And uh, it just changes it all up and, and you'll understand. You'll understand what this mess is very, very soon because I'm going to make it very clear. <laughs> so I am just adding glitter till I'm happy, which sometimes I'm okay with a little bit, but today I like a lot. <laughs> My first tutorial for October. My goodness, September was the busiest month I've ever had. Um, my kids were both down for the count twice in one month since going back to school. Um, last week they were both off for the entire week due to fevers and sore throats and, oh, it was, it's been a rough, uh, a rough start to the school year, let's just say. Uh, but it's a new month and, uh, they're better. They're all better now. 
And so now I'm going to concentrate on you guys. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get a couple of really cool tutorials out this month. Um, I might start thinking about Christmas ones for those of you who like to paint up Christmas gifts for people. Uh, I'm going to bring out a couple of Christmas ideas as well. And if you have ideas, make sure you comment and share those ideas with me and share, share these videos, like my videos, comment that way more of you can see it. So I have covered the glitter with deco art, um, a Duraclear gloss varnish just to keep the glitter where I wanted it to be. And I've let that dry somewhat, but now I'm going in with uh, my fine lining brush, which I will leave a link for, and black acrylic paint, because now we're going to do a spooky tree silhouette. And you can use a pencil. I got a pencil out, but I decided to just wing it. Um, if you want to use a pencil first to sketch out your spooky tree, there is nothing wrong with that. So I am just putting like a, the spookiest looking tree I could think of. Their, their branches are kind of weird and wiggly and spooky looking. And uh, I'm not putting any leaves on the trees. It's This is Halloween night. So usually by then we've lost quite a few of our leaves uh, here in Ontario, Canada. Um, it's actually, it was only four degrees Celsius this morning and it was very chilly. So any of you out there who are nice and warm and enjoying the heat, I'm very jealous. Please pray for me. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's not snowing or raining, really cold rain for Halloween night on my my poor five-year-old <laughs> this Halloween. So I'm just adding branches randomly. There's nothing. You make your tree the way you want it to be. Um, you can take a look on online on Pinterest for tree silhouettes to, to get some ideas. I just kind of want to hang most of my tree over the center and then I'm going to add a couple of uh, spooky jack-o'-lanterns. Not really spooky. They're going to be kind of cute. But um, now what I'm going to do, you don't have to do this. Uh, I do the silhouette of the pumpkin. I kind of carve out the eyes and the mouth um, with, with the black paint. And I leave the insides of the mouth and the eyes um, the paint color that's in the background. So I'm going to color everything else black, but I'm going to leave the eyes and the mouth um, the color of the sparkling background. Now it is better if you try and lighten up your background where you're going to put your pumpkins, but I'm just winging it. So my pumpkin's eyes and mouth aren't that bright because I did darken my background as I got lower. Um, so that's my boo-boo, but hopefully they still look okay when we're done. And yes, I purposely did not give the first one a nose. Um, so don't get upset, guys. He can still breathe. Um, he actually requested to have no nose today, so he's okay with it. <laughs> and his mouth is big enough, he can breathe. So there's only a nose on the second one. <laughs> you are allowed to put a nose on both of them if you feel it's necessary. Now I did like squiggly little things coming off the pumpkins. I'm doing bats. They look like seagulls, but they're bats. Nobody, nobody gets to argue that they are bats. <laughs> really, they're just like really easy to do bird silhouettes. So uh, you can add as many as you want. You can make them look more like bats if you like as well. It's totally up to you. That's the best part about creating art is that it's all your own and you decide. You decide. As I like to say to my husband sometimes, I'll decide. <laughs> I am now adding gold, of course. I can't not add gold to this. So I'm just doing some little bit of outlining on um, the groundwork there. And um, just mostly the tops 
of the branches and down the sides, um, but I'm not doing the bottoms of all of the branches. I want it to kind of look like there's a moonlight coming down and it's kind of gleaming on the front of the pumpkins and on the, the bit of the tree. So, but you also, once again, get to decide where you want to put gold or if you don't want to put gold. You can also, uh, as a good idea, put glitter um, in the eyes and mouth of the pumpkins, like a whole separate gleaming glitter you can put in there. Um, or you can lighten them up by putting like a, a yellowish orange glow in there, like there's actually candles lit inside. You can do that if you want, if, you, if your background didn't turn out the, like mine. Uh, mine also didn't turn out very well behind the eyes there. It's a little dark. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some glow in the dark paint to the eyes and the, the mouth so that um, that helps them stand out as well. And once again, you decide. So I am still outlining the tree branches with my fine lining brush and the kind of paint, the gold paint that I'm using. Uh, a lot of you comment on how um, how steady my hand is and how smooth the paint flows. Um, Deco Art Crafters Acrylic Spun Gold Paint is what I use and it really has an excellent consistency for fine lining and for outlining things. Um, if your paint is too thick, it's not going to be easy to outline. It's not going to be easy to do thin lines with. So always make sure. You can also add a little bit of uh, water to acrylic paint because it is water-based. Um, so you can add a little bit of water to it to thin it out a little bit for you. I've, I've done that plenty of times. Um, and that's uh, an option you, you can definitely try if, you're, if your paint's not flowing so easily. Just a little bit of water uh, really does help. And uh, I'm not going to outline gold on the birds. I'm just going to leave them a, a silhouette. They're farther away. Um, so I'm basically just putting the gold on the tree and the pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns. And uh, you can add whatever you want to it. You can add like little sprigs of, of wheat or, or a corn on the cob or a scarecrow in the background. Um, not corn on the cob, but like from corn from a cornfield. Um, you can draw that. Uh, there's pretty much anything that you can do in a silhouette and it will still look cool. And you can choose different colors for your background. You can use um, glow in the dark paint, not like different like colors to go in the background. There's so much that you can do. I'm just giving you a little nudge, a little inspiration. And hopefully um, this looks nice when it's resined as well. Now I did use a sponge at the bottom to kind of uh, soften the bottom of the ground, but I still left some of the background orange. Um, so it looks like little hills that these jack-o'-lantern lanterns are sitting on. So um, you do what you want. You can just follow it right down to the bottom of the stone with black paint so that you can't see anything underneath those jack-o'-lanterns. It's just black. Um, but I tried to just give it a little bit of hills and stuff. The, 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 the illusion that there's some little hills there. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. It's been a long month. I'm happy it's October though. So here we go. I am going to resin this after I sign my name, of course, uh, and add the glow in the dark paint to the eyes and mouth. Don't mind that fingernail. That's the worst one. And I keep putting that right in front of the camera. <laughs> I assure you I've done my nails again since. <laughs> I'm an artist. My nails are either done amazingly or they have paint all over them or they're halfway done because I just don't have the time. My nails never look fantastic. I wish I wish I could stay on top of it. <laughs> so here I'm just adding a little bit of glow in the dark paint. It does dry to be uh, somewhat clear. It's a bit foggy um, but uh, it doesn't look white like this once it's dry. See he's still cute even though he doesn't have a nose. Nothing wrong with that. And this one, he has a tiny little nose, and that's okay too.
Doesn't matter what size your nose is. You're still beautiful. Yeah, they're pretty cute. <laughs> you can see the leaf that I put on the one pumpkin and the little curls um, that are on top there. That is just to make them fun. Um, yeah, there it is. Now I will leave my tutorial how to resin. Um, I use art resin. This is what it looks like once it's sealed. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to hold it and touch it and feel how smooth it is because these stones are amazing. I promise you. Don't forget to sign your work guys. Um, I have missed you terribly. I feel like I've let you guys down by only putting up a couple of tutorials last month. Um, I will make up for it this month. Here's them glowing and it's so bright and colorful and beautiful and would be awesome to display this time of year. I love you guys. I appreciate appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and don't forget to tell me some ideas.